and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to play older versions of Minecraft, from Minecraft Alpha all the way up to Minecraft 1.18, to even versions after that, snapshots and new versions that'll come out. This is kind of showing you how to play any version of Minecraft you want, from old versions to new versions. Everything is going to be playable after you watch this video. Now, one thing I will say up front, if you are playing old, old versions of Minecraft, expect some issues. Not only are there bugs that were fixed in later versions, but occasionally things like sounds and stuff like that can be broken depending on the version you're playing. So just keep that in mind before you get into this, but it's all in the default vanilla Minecraft launcher that pretty much everybody has, and that's one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to make this the simplest way possible. Just like Apex Minecraft hosting, the sponsor of this video makes hosting your own server very very, very simple as well. Not only can you host a server on the newer versions of Minecraft, but you can also host a server all the way back to Minecraft Alpha if you want to, all on Apex Minecraft hosting. We love and trust them so much, we also are on server, played our breakdowncraft.com on Apex, so go check out Apex in the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, to get started, we just need to open up the default Minecraft launcher. This is the Minecraft launcher that everybody uses to play Minecraft, right? I mean, Pretty much most people are going to use this launcher, or they may use a third-party launcher, but I recommend this one. Nevertheless, once you're here, though, we want to click on settings in the bottom left, right? You've got to click on settings in the bottom left to get started. Then you want to click on this, show historical versions of Minecraft Java Edition in the launcher. So you want to make sure that, that right there is checked. That's all you need to do. Now, if you come back here to Minecraft Java, we need to go to installations, right? Once we go to installations, we want to click new installations, and we're going to call this Alpha, because we're about to play some Minecraft Alpha. Then we want to click on this version's drop-down box, and this is, like I said, you can play any version of Minecraft you want. Now, one thing you might notice is you may not have these snapshots. If that's the case, it's because over here you don't have snapshots checked. So make sure on this installations tab, all three of these are checked. As you can see, if we uncheck them all, then basically they're all checked, I think, but nevertheless, we want to make sure that all three of these right here are checked. That way, all of the versions will like show up, and that goes into the new installation screen as well. Nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and rename this because I closed out of it and click the drop down box. Now if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, all the way down, we can see this is the first build, old alpha right here. Now as you can see, we go alpha, we go beta, and then we go into Minecraft release version 1.0. So all of that is there, but we're going to go into this version. Now I'm going to change my resolution. Sometimes this will be one of the bugs that you can have in these older versions and then click create. Then we have this new Minecraft alpha Click the green play button, understand you're playing an old version of Minecraft, click play again, and now it's going to open up. It's that simple to play a super old version of Minecraft. Now, I'm going to show you how to download the server for these old versions as well here in one moment and how to download other stuff, but as you can see, we're loading in game, and there you go. This Minecraft version is so old, by the way, you can't really create a world, and uh, you can't really switch blocks. It's honestly not the version I'd recommend playing, but this is how Minecraft started, and uh, it's absolutely insane to me, honestly. Even the Minecraft logo isn't there. To quit out of it, by the way, you just hit escape. Let's go ahead and play in Minecraft beta version. Minecraft beta is when you can actually start to see that Minecraft is Minecraft. It's actually when I started really playing Minecraft. Uh, it was in 2010. But let's go ahead and go up to installations. We'll create a new installation. We'll call this one Minecraft beta. And we won't go to the first beta version here. We'll go down and we'll go to like, I don't know, the probably somewhere in the middle, right? So if we go, here's beta 1.0 and 1.8 is the last one. We'll do like uh, 1.0. 5.1 right here. Change our resolution here and click create. And now we can go ahead and, by the way, you can select these back here too. And this, Minecraft beta, click play, click play again. There you go. But nevertheless, now Minecraft beta is opening up. This one should feel a little bit more like Minecraft, but as I said, even this is broken, right? One of the things that you will notice is some of your worlds may not be here. I promise they are there if you go play newer versions, but the worlds you're creating right now won't be, <laughs> which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna name this beta world real fast, beta world. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just do a random seed of the breakdown, because why not? Go ahead and click create, and now it's gonna log right into this new world. And like I said, this is gonna feel a lot more like vanilla Minecraft today, right? You can even go into options, and you've got things like, you know, different video settings and FOVs and things that you can change and all that, which is cool. But nevertheless, yeah, this is this is a lot more like vanilla Minecraft. I do wonder if we open this to LAN. Is that possible still? It doesn't look like it. But uh, I, I wonder if you can go into creative. I don't think creative was in Minecraft at this point yet. But that is how you can play older versions of Minecraft. Right? Simple stuff. However, that's not the... And by the way, mods and textures, look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> but nevertheless, that is how you can play older versions of Minecraft. But what if we want a server? Well, pretty simple. This is where you can get it. This is in the description down below. This is how to... Or not how to, but this is where you can download server versions for some of these 
versions if it's available, right? So if we go into like beta 1.8.1, click download, we can see that this is the download client. That means there's no server version available, unfortunately. However, on all of these for like, you know, 1.0 or whatever, there are server versions. So nevertheless, that is where you can get server versions. A lot of these older versions do not have servers available, sadly, but that just is what it is. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. That's how you can play any version of Minecraft from alpha, beta, all the way up through release until today. You can also play snapshots this way, by the way, and all the snapshots are in here as well. So that means when new Minecraft versions come out, like 1.19, that's where you can see snapshots. And one of the key things about snapshots that's kind of cool is if you click this snapshots button here, it's always going to have this latest snapshot. So that's going to make sure you're always playing on the newest features of Minecraft that they want you to test. Nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content like this every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.